हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस वीडियो इज ऑन एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस एंड स्पेशली स्पेशल वीडियो फॉर एच ओ ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चंस फॉर रेलवे एलडीसी एग्जाम गोइंग टू इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ एलडीसी एग्जाम आई दर इट मे बी एस टी ए डी एस टी ए डी एम ई ए डबल ई वॉट एवर इट मे बी सो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माय चैनल कैंडली कैंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्लीज एंड लाइक एंड शेयर ऑल्सो सो लेट स्टार्ट मोस्ट सुटेबल मेथड टू क्लासीफाई इम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑफ रेलवे सर्वेंट एज कंटिन्यूअस इंटेंसिव और ई आई इज बेस्ड ऑन मोस्ट सुटेबल मेथड टू क्लासीफाई इम्प्लॉय ऑफ रेलवे सर्वेंट एज कंटिन्यूअस इंटेंसिव और ई आई इज बेस्ड ऑन फैक्चुअल जॉब एनालिसिस फैक्चुअल जॉब एनालिसिस पीरियड ऑफ इनएक्शन और रिलैक्सेशन aggregating to dash hours in a cycle of 24 hours will satisfy the condition of little period of rest for classification as intensive period of inaction or relaxation aggregating to dash hours in a cycle of 24 hours will satisfy the condition of little period of rest for classification as intensive is less than 6 hours less than Six hours period of inaction or relaxation aggregating to dash hours in a cycle of eight hours. In last question it was twenty four hour. Now it is eight hours will satisfy the condition of little period of rest for classification as intensive is period of inaction or relaxation aggregating to dash hours in a cycle of eight hours will satisfy the condition of little period of rest for classification as intensive is less than one hour less than one hour less than one hour the employment of railway servant is classified as dash if in a shift of 12 hours the period of inaction aggregating to 6 hours or more in shift of 12 hours the period of inaction aggregating it 2 hours or more so normally who is working 12 hours duty per day who is classified for working 12 hours day that is essential intermittent so answer will be the employment of railway servant classified as essential intermittent is in shift of 12 hours the standard hours of duty of intensive classification the standard hours of duty of intensive classification is dash hours a week in a week in a week it is 42 hours standard hours for intensive classification in a week is 42 hours please note this is standard hours not a statutory limit running staff are classified as running staffs are classified as dash it is continuous running staffs are classified as continuous here giving one trick they are running continuous in train they are running continuous in train so they are classified as continuous so running staff classified as continuous running staff shall be granted rest of dash consecutive hours including full night in bed in a month please note i am asking in a month sometimes in a week will also come so it is four period of 30 hours either he will get four period of 30 hours or five periods of 22 hours any one he will get in month no railway servant classified as intensive shall be called upon to duty before completion of rest of dash no railway servant classified as intensive shall be called upon to duty before completion of rest of dash this is 12 hours so intensive classified um, uh, employees will come after 12 hours rest only what is the maximum hours of works for employees in railways what is the maximum hours of work for employees in railways it is not more than 9 hours and shall not be more than 12 hours in a day not more than 9 hours and shall not be more than 12 hours in a day how much overtime is paid for the excess hours of work rendered by a railway servant 
between the limit of roasted hours and statutory hours it is between the roasted hours and statutory hours is one and half times of ordinary rate of pay one and half one and half times of ordinary rate of pay how much overtime is paid for the excess hours or works rendered by a railway servant beyond the statutory limit the previous was roast in between roasted hour and statutory limit now it is beyond the statutory limit if they uh, cross statutory limits then he will get twice the ordinary rate of pay means two times two times ordinary rate of pay they will get as ot overtime if rest is suspended temporarily within how many days the rest in lieu may be granted temporarily rest is suspended for any employee then within how many days the rest in lieu may be granted so it is depend upon the classification of employee if 14 days in case of intensive roasters employee and one month for other categories intensive if they are intensive like section controller he will get within 14 days in case of running staff how the working hours are considered for calculation of ot this is for nightly fortnightly or oh sorry it is from sign on to sign off hours will be calculated ot from sign on to sign off who has the right to permit changes in hoer classification who has the right to permit changes in hoer classification this is pc po principal chief personal officer having right to permit changes in hoer classification if my collection of questions is good i requested you all to kindly subscribe my channel for more videos under how many classes hoer has been classified actually for employee point of view em employees are classified in four different classes they are classified in four different classes continuous uh, intensive essential uh, intermittent and excluded weekly rest of not less than dash hours is granted to running staff my last question was for one month now this is weekly rest so either he will get 22 hours rest or he will get 30 hours rest average period for purpose of calculating overtime in respect of continuous staff is average period for purpose of calculating overtime in respect of continuous staff is period should be considered for 14 hours or biweekly biweekly or 14 hours or one fortnight <clears throat> if your friends they are preparing for lc exam you can share my videos to him also das is the authority to specify a railway servant as supervisory very much important question who can declare a uh, employee as supervisory this is ministry of labor who is the authority to specify a railway servant as supervisory is ministry of labor not ministry of railway but ministry of labor das is competent to declare a railway servant as excluded for supervisory ministry of labor but for excluded ministry of railway may be declare an employee as excluded who will declare as excluded that is ministry of railway ministry of railway thanks for watching video thanks a lot if my effort is good i uh, again i uh, requested to kindly subscribe share and those who are willing to uh, join my ldc telegram live test group can whatsapp me on my this number number uh, share here thank you thanks for watching